And now your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickens. Well, despite some clouds today, it was overall not a bad day out there. Temperature wise, we continue on this warm stretch and that is going to turn into uh, maybe some thunderstorm activity tomorrow. First alert day is going to be in effect uh, for the afternoon hours tomorrow for the potential. Maybe uh, one or two storms becoming severe at the end of the week, though we continue warm uh, and we're talking warm generally speaking here for February standards, but uh, we will notice a little bit of a cool down, but still above average. That's going to continue on into the weekend, so not a bad weekend ahead. We're watching out to the southwest of us, though. Look at this system right here is going to be moving into our region come tomorrow. With that out ahead of that, uh, we'll see the potential for maybe one or two storms becoming strong and severe come tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be a very conditional threat. And what that means is we've got a small window and, and we we have to see some sunlight. Now I'll show you exact track here. The temperatures and the dew point, which is the measure of the moisture in the air, that's going to play an effect if we can get thunderstorms to develop tonight. Not too bad. We'll be in the 40s. We're going to with the cloud cover there. Uh, we're going to not drop too much. It was a pretty chilly night uh, from what we're used to last couple nights. Not the case tonight. You wake up into the mid 40s tomorrow. You can definitely get are going to tell that it's going to be a, kind of one of those early spring days. And as we head into the afternoon, here we go. 2 p.m. 50s, mid 50s. OK, that's not as strong as the 60s, but look at off to the southwest here. Uh, 62 Burlington, 64 Keokuk. If we get a little bit more of that warm weather, maybe into the upper 50s, low 60s, we could have enough uh, thunderstorm energy to maybe spark off a few thunderstorms. There's got to be some clearing, though. That is something we're going to watch. Also a factor in this, too, and something that is going to be a hazard tomorrow is going to be the gusty winds uh, reaching up into the mid 30s. And this is going to be non thunderstorm related winds, so it'll be with pretty much everybody until we can get that system to move out. Things will start to calm down a little bit as we head into the afternoon. Now let's time things out here. We're going to have one wave that moves through here in the morning hours very isolated, but we could see some rain shower activity there as we get into there. There it is 10 AM. There's that wave moving through. Now here's going to be the factor. If we can see enough clearing, which exact track is picking up on that. That could warm the temperatures, warm the atmosphere. If we can get into the 60s, uh, yeah, I think we could definitely see some uh, strong thunderstorms fire off. Now, exact track is picking up on some activity developing. And look at the shape of these. That's always concerning when you see those uh, little hooks there. Now, this is a placement. This is not anything set in stone, but it does show maybe a couple individual storms that could be strong to severe. The potential is there, maybe a spin up tornado or two. Here's something else. This is the red indicates the thunderstorm energy, and you can see boom as that goes through. We do see a little spike in energy, and that's when those storms pop off. That is why that threat is going to be really focused on areas east of the river. This is a level one uh, marginal risk in place here, and you can see pretty much roughly north central Illinois along and east of the river, even up here into uh, parts of the northern portion of the TV6 viewing area. Although I think Everything is going to be primarily focused east of the river where we'll have a little bit more time to see some sunlight and warm things up. And you can see that first alert day from 3 p.m. till 8 p.m. We should start to uh, see things wind down once we get to 7, 8 o'clock. Isolated severe storms. That's the thing. Brief tornadoes, maybe some hail and damage winds also possible. Something that we will certainly keep an eye on and keep it tuned here to TV6. We'll keep you updated. Long range, though, we do hold rather warm in, in terms of temperatures for this time of year, but there's still some long range models training us maybe a little cooler 43 tonight breezy conditions and cloudy tomorrow that first alert day is going to be in effect temperatures hold pretty steady above average and once we get to Sunday and beyond we hold in the low 40s we'll be back right after this